Hello there. In this topic, we're going to talk about what are decision tables and how to implement them. Well, decision tables enable you to bring your business rules into the into the cubes into your uh, models and these business rules can be imported as well from your excel sheets so the idea is that all the rules which are generally created by different business units and different analysts and uh, uh, different uh, other audience can be brought into hana in a very easy and useful way so this is another way to push business logic into the database so you can make your queries much more efficient right let's go ahead and take a look at how to create them let's take a look at the calculation view which we built the copa underscore calc and if i say data preview and let's say that i want to understand for example in a region how many customers are high net worth and how many customers are enterprise and how many customers are medium and how many customers are starter customers so to do that we have to bring in another column called customer type where we define which customer is what so we can say that if a customer for example here the customer number 255 we can bring in the name so you know what his name is so customer number 255 or emma bull her transaction is 2,529 dollars so there are differences between these two customers and we want to identify that and we want to create another column for that so let's see how to do that so first let's go ahead and create a decision table so you can come back to your package you can right click on it you can say new and let's go ahead and give it a name called so we're going to name it customer underscore category and no problem so this is a new one package let's go ahead and finish this so when you create your decision table this is how the empty decision table looks like you have two nodes one is the decision table and then you have the data foundation so when you click on data foundation your output panel will open up and then you have properties so just like any other model data foundation carries physical tables and if you come to the output pane this is a little bit different from the other output panes because you, here you have something called conditions and actions and we also have something called parameters in all the other output columns you will have something called input parameters but here we have something called parameters let's see how to work with these guys so first of all i want to bring in the table so let's bring in the table here so i want to pull up the ce1 from the training schema all right so what we're going to do is we're going to take the key columns because we're going to eventually use this in a calculation view so take mandate take uh, k and dnr we want to take the customer number okay and then we want to evaluate the revenue right so we pick up the revenue column so v v010 is a revenue column and we need that And now what we're going to do is we are going to create another column as we discussed before called as customer type. Right? So let's go ahead and create that column as a parameter. That's what we do in a decision table is you have to create a column as a parameter. So here you're going to give the data type. So here the data type can be varchar because this customer type will talk about what kind of customer it is. All right. Now a little bit about conditions and actions, right? So conditions are where conditions are basically columns on top of which we will take those conditions. For example, let's say that in this case, the condition column will be 
are VV010 because this is where we are evaluating the net revenue. So from the net revenue column, we are saying that any customer under this particular number is so and so and then over this over a limit is so and so and this has to be acted upon the column called customer type so we are going to say that add as an action because we want to act on this column based on a condition derived from this column okay wonderful so when you do that if you come to the decision table itself you will see that the two columns are shown up here okay wonderful now let me let's go back to excel just for a quick second so here i have built in a logic already so this is what we want to do so we want to say that anything less than ten thousand dollars type of that customer should be started between 10 grand and 50 grand it should, you know, the customer type is medium and so on anything about hundred thousand dollars is enterprise okay so this is what the logic we want to program so naturally you can come here you can say that so vb01 the condition is less than ten thousand dollars and the customer type is starter Now you can choose to write all the all the uh, rules you can say right click and add a condition value and then another column will open up and then you can you know you can write it or you could import it from a MS Excel so let's import the same file which we saw earlier called rules and here you see that it's much easier to write it in Excel and bring it inside okay so that's our quick decision table let's go ahead and activate this All right it's activated successfully and let's take a look at the data preview okay now we want to know what kind of customer type what customer is so if you pull up the vv010 and customer type it talks about how many customers are enterprise how many customers are large medium and starter now if you go to the raw data because that is aggregated is talking like that if you go to the raw data you see that in a, next to every customer you have the customer type so here we have medium and then if you drag down you have in this in this set of 200 rows you have only medium but if you go to distinct values you will be able to see different kinds of so this is the distribution we have all right so now what we want to do is we want to combine this with that calculation view let's do that